Pokemon collectors and investors alike have been set into a frenzy with some of the latest reveals for Surging Sparks. And I'm calling it right now, this is the best main English set of 2024. But why is that and should you be buying it? Well, that's what I'm going to look into in today's video. Let's get straight into it. Hey guys, it's Pokemonster here and I just wanted to do a little video about the upcoming Japanese and English sets because I am extremely excited for it genuinely because of some of the latest reveals. I really do believe this is going to be the best English main set of 2024. So firstly, what are the details about this set? We have the Japanese version of it called Supercharged Breaker, which has this Pikachu that I'm showing on the screen as the box art. So this is SV8 coming out in just a week on Friday. Then we have the English version, which is going to be Surging Sparks. So the surging bit is probably taken from the Japanese side of Paradise Dragon, and it combines that with Supercharged Breaker, and that will be coming out on the 8th of November. So the way I'm going to structure this video for you guys, first, I'm going to be looking at a visual set list of all the cards that we know are coming into Supercharged Breaker, including those Chase SIR cards. And then I'm going to be telling you guys why I truly believe that this is the best English set of 2024. So let's get straight into it. Okay, so thanks to Poke Beach, let's look at the main set list firstly for Supercharged Breaker in isolation. For the Japanese collectors, the final EX, I believe, has been revealed as Durant. So not very hype because we've had three Pokemon SIRs revealed and there is going to be a fourth one, which is going to come from one of those remaining EX cards. Then we have the fire type Scovillain. The illustration is pretty cool, but let's see if we get an SIR for it. We got the Melotic, which is really cool because it's more like a hand-drawn style artwork rather than the CGI that you usually get from Goban or Five Man. Obviously, we have the Pikachu Stellar type Terra EX, the mascot of the set, and the SIR of this card is causing a lot of hype around the release of the set. Another notable highlight from the commons and uncommons is the Lake Trio. So you get Uxi, Mesprit, and Azelf, all drawn by Hyogonosuke. So really cool to see the Lake Trio. Not too sure about Sandy Gas, no offense. I'm sure there is a Sandy Gas fan out there. We get a Stellar type Hydreigon EX. So something that surprised me about this set is it's called Supercharged Breaker. We get the Tatsugiri EX there and the Slay King EX, which I believe rounds off all eight EX cards. Two more common cards I wanted to show you. One is the Kecleon drawn by Shinji Kanda. I think this is an amazing art. And don't forget, Shinji Kanda has at least one more card in this set, which is going to be that Magneton AR hasn't been revealed in Japanese but it is in the Pokemon Center ETBs. I also think this Terrapagos drawn by Ghidorah is super super cool and Ghidorah features again later on in this video. Another thing to note is obviously the trainer cards because that gives us a clue as to what SIRs or SARs we're going to get. Notably we've got a Jasmine here so very, very likely, although unconfirmed, that we get a Jasmine SAR. So then we'll go on to the full visual set list, which combines everything from Paradise Dragona, Supercharged Breaker and other sets. But without further ado, let's get straight into the chase cards and why I think this is going to be an absolutely fantastic set. So we are going to start with the illustration rares first. And I think there's a few here that are my picks. I think the execute is really cool because it's a really relatable art People struggling with life, contemplating life, just look at this little execute feeling the same as you. Then we get that cast form, which is like overlooking a region, which is really cool. We get the several edge drawn by Rond. I think this artwork again is really cool. It looks like sort of like watercolor painting. Obviously, you guys will all know about the Latias. So the Latias pairing up with the Latias is going to be super cool to chase in English and Japanese. Obviously, we got the Mesprit AR, I think is super cool. And then probably my pick of the rest is going to be the Skarmory. So this is the same illustrator who worked on some of the Legend of Zelda games. And I think the way he's illustrated the Skarmory is really, really cool because you can obviously see the sky that's sort of reflecting on the Skarmory itself. There is one card that I forgot. Obviously, it's going to be this Feebas. Good to see some Pokemon that you never really see getting the spotlight. So out of these, I think the top few IRs that people will want to chase is the Latios, the Mesprit, the Cerulege, Cast Form at a stretch, Feebas because of what it connects to, and the Skarmory. Moving on next, we got some decent full art Pokemon. I wasn't actually that 
impressed by this. I know it's a full art, but I'm not a huge fan of the Terra gimmick when they start showing like these little bits um, when they don't really merge in very well with the body. So like I'm not, I don't have a huge problem with the Terra gimmick itself, but these kind of CGI cards when you've got like parts of the crystal not merging in with the body disturbs me a little bit. We had a similar thing with the Charizard full art from Shiny Treasure. So nothing crazy here, full art supporters, this is going to give us a clue as to what SIRs we are going to get. So the Lycia and the Drayton already have their SIRs, which we'll come to. And then I think the Jasmine will obviously get an SIR. It would really surprise me if another of the three trainers got it and Jasmine didn't. And then you get the Serrano SR, which has just been revealed as the second trainer SR. It, the other trainer is still possibly going to get an SR, but I will be absolutely shocked if Jasmine does not get an SAR card, considering this is an electric set and obviously Jasmine is known for having that Ampharos. Let's get straight into the SIRs and why I'm so excited about this set. Look at the SIRs which have been revealed so far. So obviously you've got the three Pokemon from Paradise Dragona. The only one out of here that I don't like is the Arcalidon. Nothing against the Pokemon, I just think the illustration doesn't really have depth. It looks a little bit cartoony, full respect to the artist. And then our next floor for SIRs is a card that I already like, which is this Alolan Executor Stellar Type SIR. I think it's drawn really well, and when you see it in person, it's got some really nice textures. And then from then on, it just gets absolutely crazy. Obviously, you've got the Latias, which joins up with the Latios, but then we've had the Pikachu revealed, super cute card drawn by Ghidorah, and here I think the Terrastal gimmick has been merged well with the body. Really, really like this Pikachu illustration. I don't think the hat destroys the illustration of the Pokemon. Perhaps a little bit too bright in the background, but it's nice and simple artwork and definitely a card that people are going to want to chase. Ghidorah is a really cool artist, by the way. They drew the Terrapagos Hollow that I showed you guys earlier. They drew the Charmeleon from Pokemon 151, and I'm pretty sure they drew the Dendra, the Dendra SAR from Paldea Evolved. So obviously, as the mascot of the set, people are going to be want to be chasing that card. Then we've got the really, really cool Melotic to show you guys. Melotic is obviously a really popular Gen 3 Pokemon, which evolves from Phoebus. And let me show you guys something in case you haven't seen it yet. So something that I find really cool about these artworks is that they almost connect. They definitely connect in theme. If you look at the light rays, they look like they're almost the same. The only thing that I'm not sure about is the plants. But even then, I think that they do connect. So I do believe this is sort of a connected artwork where you've got the Phoebus at the bottom. And then once it evolves, it becomes this beautiful melodic that shines into the light. I just think the storytelling through these two cards is absolutely awesome and is another reason why the Melotic SIR is going to be a really cool card to chase. And finally, out of the SIR Pokemon that we've seen so far, this is the one that people are absolutely the most excited about. It's the Hydreigon SIR. So for anyone playing black and white, this is going to be a huge card. Hydreigon, I believe the last cool chase card that they got was the black and white shiny card. So the black and white UR card which I have in PSA 9, but I can't really think of any other big cards that Hydreigon has been given. So it looks really cool with all that stellar type bordering. And obviously it's drawn by the legendary Akira Egawa, who has really established herself as a mainstay artist in both Pokemon and One Piece, actually. So we have got three SIR Pokemon revealed from Supercharge Breaker so far. We are going to have one more revealed. So that's going to be out of Scovillain, Sandy Gast, Slay King, and maybe one more that I'm missing. So we will get one more SIR from those cards. Hopefully it's going to be the Slay King because I've never seen that one get an alt art. Let's wait and see. Special illustration wise, we have the Lysias Appeal. And then we have Drayton. So Lysias Appeal has actually been revealed in English as well. So there we have it, Lysia's Appeal. Switch in one of your opponent's bench basic Pokemon to the active spot if you do the new active Pokemon is now confused. And just as Lysia's Appeal has the Altaria behind her, I think we could be seeing Jasmine with an Ampharos behind her, but that's obviously speculation. Okay, so why do I think that this set is the best Pokemon set of 2024? I think it's pretty simple really, so I'm comparing it to Paldean Fates, which is a decent set, but it doesn't have the same amount of chase cards as this set. Then I'm comparing it to Temporal Forces, 
Twilight Masquerade, Shrouded Fable, and Stellar Crown. Stellar Crown, I'm gonna kick out very soon. I do like it and the fact that it introduces the Stellar type Terrapagos, but obviously it's a smaller main set, so it doesn't have the same amount of bangers in the set, even though it does have the Squirtle and Bulbasaur illustration rare. Then we have Temporal Forces, which I think is actually a really, really solid set, but I just don't think it has got the same reception as this set because the Pokemon SIRs in there are like iterations of popular Pokemon, but not the popular Pokemon themselves. Whereas here I'm comparing it to Pikachu, Latias, Velotic, and even Hydreigon, I would say, are way more popular than that. Twilight Masquerade is probably the closest challenger. I would say that the Carmine and the Perrin cannot compare to the Lycia and what I'm speculating to be the Jasmine SAR. Obviously, we're still waiting on the quality of the illustration itself, but I do hope and think based on the pattern of what I've seen for Supercharged Breaker that the Jasmine SAR is going to be a good card. And then when you're comparing the SIRs, Twilight Masquerade has got the Greninja, which you could argue is still going to be more valuable than all of these cards. Maybe Pikachu has got something to say about that. Hydreigon, I think people really love the illustration, but I'm not sure it can compete with Greninja because it's just not as popular of a Pokemon. Where Twilight Masquerade falls for me compared to Supercharged Breaker or Surging Sparks, it's got those four Mask SIR cards from Mask of Change, and that just simply doesn't compare to the diversity and vibrance that you see in terms of all of these SIR Pokemon. And do I really need to mention Shrouded Fable? It's probably one of the worst sets that has come out in recent years. So I'm super, super excited about the set. The one unique trait that I think this has is that almost every SIR card is a card that I would be happy to pull. Out of this card list, the only SIRs that I would be sort of like meh at pulling is the Arcalidon and the Drayton. Everything else I'd be super happy to pull, especially these four. You will get my live reactions when I open the Japanese side of Supercharged Breaker. If I pull any of these three Pokemon SIRs, I'm going to be going absolutely wild. Now just remember guys, just because a set is really good doesn't mean it's going to be a fantastic investment, doesn't mean it's going to make you rich. However, I do think this is a really cool set and it's got really, really good potential. The only thing we can go off of right now is the set strength. As for other factors like the print run, the pull rates, we will have to see. But I think this is a really, really strong start and really shows that things are beginning to pick up towards the end of the SV era. We've got Prismatic Evolutions coming out in January of 2025. By now, I've probably waffled on too much, but hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. I'll see you guys next week. Happy collecting.